So welcome to our interview with Ishai Aftelman. Uh, we are sitting here together at his uh, home residence in Rishpon, Israel. And uh, I'd like to welcome Ishai. Hi, Ishai. Hey, Frat. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to be talking about a lot of interesting things today. Um, I'd like to start with, uh, actually, uh, I went to see his show last night in Yafo. It was absolutely stunning. And uh, there are a lot of changes coming up. I saw that your singer is pregnant uh, progressively. And I'm sure there are other changes on the brink. So where, how are you moving forward with the album, with the project um, in Israel, outwards? Uh, what are your plans? Um, so we started performing a year ago, a bit more than a year ago. And uh, 2020 will be the first year that we're going to go. Uh, uh, the focus is going to be overseas. Uh, yeah, Tula, our singer, is pregnant, but uh, starting from the summer, she will be joining us on tour already. So it's not such a dramatic change, and I just uh, decided that it would be better to give like a three months break from flying, and we'll perform in Israel, but um, after three months, we're going to continue uh, to perform overseas. Uh, we're going to record my third album later this year probably in the fall or winter, in the beginning of the winter of 2020. And yeah, I'm super excited because it's, there's a whole new album waiting to be uh, recorded and performed. So we have a lot of new music coming. So it's, it's really exciting. Well, that's amazing to hear. It's always amazing that there's always a uh, new material on the brink to be recorded. Um, what else would I like to ask you? Um, so basically, like from our slight uh, chat earlier that hasn't been documented, uh, you said that you always had an amazing uh, attraction to rhythm, to drumming. Um, I'd like to hear about that a little bit. Like, when did it happen? How did it happen? Uh, what did you drum on? Like, uh, how did you, how imaginative were you as a child? So I'd like to hear about that. Uh, funny enough, I actually remember the first time I actually played a rhythm, a groove. It was in a summer camp when I was in fifth or sixth grade. Somebody came to me and taught me how to play on a door. This. It's like the basic uh, Arabic maksum groove. And since then, I've been doing that on doors, on tables, on driving everybody crazy uh, for quite a f quite uh, quite a few years. Uh, I had a, a teacher when I was a child in my village. I grew up in a village in the north in Klil, and uh, he took me and another friend for a few years when we were children and taught us every week for free. He became a very this guy over here. He became a very, very uh, close friend of mine, and he, in a way, planted the seed in me. Um, mm. He introduced me to the different percussion instruments. He wasn't a professional musician, but he just gave us the opportunity to touch it and to experience it. And actually, the first time I was on stage in my life was playing a darbuka when I was uh, seventh grade, I think, or eighth grade. Um, but it always stayed in an unprofessional place. It stayed just as a hobby, uh, and I actually took on uh, acting as my main uh, main um, thing that I'm doing. I, I learned in a in a art school in in my high school, and I took drama as my main course. And then I continued to study in uh, Nisan Ativ, which is one of the one of the most prestigious schools in Israel. Mm -hmm. And only when I graduated, when I was 25, is when I left everything and went back into the drumming, um, fully into it. I really uh, immersed in it, and that's what I do ever since. It's been 11 years. Now for like a, something completely different. Um, as a as a young boy, as a teenager, what kind of music really inspired you? Good question. When I was young, really young, my older brothers used to listen to whatever popular American, British, like U2, Pink Floyd, and stuff like that. I was never really a music uh, listener. 
when I was in high school, I think was the first time I bought a CD and it was like uh, ambient electronic music. And then I went into a phase of maybe five, six years of going into electronic music and trance music. Surprisingly, many people are not, <laughs> will not imagine. But yeah, I used to listen a lot. I, th I still think it's one of the most powerful musics for sure on me. Mm. It's where I found the beat, uh, the power that the beat has on me. Mm. Um, and when I started to play mu uh, the drums, more like every day, it's where I, I left, I said goodbye to electronic rhythm mm -hmm. and brought it into my fingers and into, and I started to listen a lot to um, traditional music, uh, Indian, Hindustani music and Turkish and flamenco and African and Persian. I went into listening to all the traditional music that had percussion in, mm -hmm. in them, uh, just to hear and to get inspired. Um, by the masters and later on I started listening to more modern jazz mm -hmm. and now it's like a mix of, of all of them you know it's uh, it's I'm super super connected to groove mm -hmm. it has to that it has a, a very strong uh, uh, effect on me and and it's that's why it's also part of my music even though it's not uh it's not necessarily ordinary grooves but um but yeah all the time moving between the tradition and the and the and the and the breaking modern approaches mm -hmm. and also a bit of electronics also so uh, i think we're good uh i would love to have a little detour in your room show me around a little bit yeah, sure. wonderful Welcome to my studio. Uh, this is where everything happens. This is where I am basically all day, every day. Um, my drum set, I'm actually taking lessons on drums now. Uh, I started to do it when I realized that my own music, uh, I need to play certain, that I need to have the skills of drum set playing. Um, using a few limps together and having cymbals and bass drum. So I'm practicing everyday drums and taking lessons. Here is where all my uh, percussion instruments are. You'll have here drums from many, many uh, places in the Mediterranean area, in the Middle East, in India. You have frame drums from different uh, frame drum builders. These are drums that I got uh, from my original, my first teacher who I showed you before. He passed away and he gave me those, these were his drums. And yeah, this is where I, uh, it's my own small collection. Collection. Uh, when I create music, I sit here, I have my microphone open and I like to have it all available for me. Every idea, every small idea, I, I try not to think too much. Okay, I take the shaker, I take this drum and I just start to work on it and see what it, where it takes me. Um, and here you have the piano that I'm taking lessons on piano now. Um, yeah. So uh, that was uh, Ishai Aftelman with me today on Tellover. Thank you very much for taking part. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to tell the stories. And uh, this is his wonderful new album, Know Me, that was released in June. It's probably everywhere online, so uh, listen, it's gorgeous. And uh, I'm sure we'll be hearing from Ishai very soon. Uh, new concerts, new material. So good luck to you and everything you do, and thank you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you, bye. Wow. Amazing stuff, yeah. huh? I know why I love doing the show with you. I know why I love doing the show with you too. Yeah, you bring lots of new inspiration. You do. You're funny, <laughs> hilarious. But you know, there's <laughs> something I would like to know. Mm -hmm. Can we see how he is live? Oh, yeah. We actually have a beautiful song from his uh, release show in June. Enjoy. Mm hmm. 